Hello, my name is Daryl, and I'm a realist, also known as a flat earther. The basic understanding of flat earth comes from knowledge, and we know two things for sure. That the earth is flat, and the earth is stationary. We know that the earth is flat because most of the surface of the earth is covered in water. That water always seeks and finds its level. And that water, while contained and at rest, always has a surface that is completely flat. We know that the Earth is stationary based on our day-to-day -day experience of living on a motionless plane. These two things we know for sure. One of the more widely accepted models of the Flat Earth is the Azimuthal Equidistant Projection, or the AE map. One of my go-to examples for how this all works was a model that Rob Skiba put together showing the Sun and Moon making a clockwise circuit over the face of the AE map. I've even used it in a video or two. But towards the end of last year, there was a great deal of contention in the community because some guy was running around screaming at everyone that the sun couldn't possibly be making a clockwise circuit, even going so far as to attacking those of us who didn't publicly denounce the AE map. But I had seen a time lapse of the sun seeming to do just that. The sun seemed to be making a clockwise circuit around the North Pole, and someone took a video of the sun doing just that. Could that have been faked? I needed to find out for myself, so I decided I'd take a trip to Alaska during summer solstice, being that that's the time where the sun was supposedly be circling closest to the North Pole. So I bought a new camera, bought spare batteries for that camera, extra memory cards, and a swivel mount so I could get my own time lapse. Fortunately, I was able to call in a favor to a friend in Alaska, and he was by my side for the whole trip. The plan would be to travel to multiple vantage points with minimal obstruction so he could track the sun's movements in the sky, get a time lapse of the sun making its circuit, and take hourly pictures showing the sun's position in the sky. The first place we would go to was called Murphy's Dome, and we would use that tower in the background as a reference point to track the sun's movement. So that was where I'd set up the P900 for a time lapse. Now, to take these pictures from my phone, I downloaded an advanced photography app this thing would show your time, date, elevation, grid coordinates, and most importantly, azimuth. So if you do a 360, it's going to show you on screen your degrees and the position that you're facing. Very important for this project, as you can see here. So here's what we got from the first site. Again, using that tower as a starting point, we watch the sun go almost out of our view and then kind of slingshot back around, coming up that hill and going back into the sky, starting a new day. There were points where I had to adjust the camera upward because the sun wasn't traveling right along the horizon where I could do a constant 360 at a level angle. got really cloudy towards the end of the day too. We were still able to track the sun for the most part. So as you can see, the sun gets back to the tower, our original starting point. You can see the rays. And then there you go. Looks like a 360. But let's take another look at that time lapse with the addition of the pictures that I took using Dioptra. Also, feel free to take screenshots of these pictures as the information is for the community.
We anticipated that the sky would be coated near Fairbanks, so we decided to go a few hours south to Toke, Alaska. We got everything that we needed, and a moderately clear sky too. To clarify, this project was to determine the movement of the sun over the face of the earth. This was not an argument for the AE map itself. Now the AE map has been a useful tool, but it does have some things that need to be worked out with it. Perhaps those people's observations of the sun's movement through the sky didn't match the AE map because the land masses are not the size or location that we've been told. Maybe that's the answer. But now we know three things for sure. The earth is flat, the earth is stationary, and the sun makes a clockwise circuit over the face of the earth. Well, that's all I got for this one. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, I'd like to say a special thanks to Ron Hagberg, Mike Helmick, Dave Marsh, Kevin Plowman, and of course, my man Chris Taylor, who was with me every step of the way on this journey. As always, be good to each other, take care of yourself, stay flat. I'll see you next time. Thank you. If you'd like to get in touch with me, please do so through my website, dmarble.info. If you'd like to support my efforts, please go to the tab at the top that says Health Store. Click on that tab. It'll take you to a storefront. You can register as a customer and start shopping. If you'd like to pick up some official Flat Earth offensive gear, you can do so through teespring.com. The link to my storefront is in the description. Also, you can find me at any of these social media platforms. See you in the next video. Thank you.